Ladies and gentlemen, you tuned in. New episode, Music is Love Language. I'm your host, Clint Coley. Real quick, before we get into the podcast, if you're watching, you see it. You see it. If you're watching this, the boy got a haircut. I look new. New money in 2023. Uh, real quick, also, if you're watching on this podcast, too, uh, on YouTube, Steph is in the building. What's up? Steph is in the building, so you know what that means. Important conversations are being had. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If, you, if Steph is here, you know what that means. Real quick, though, before we get into the podcast, hey, if you live in D.C., here's the move. February 26th, I'm going to be at the D.C. Improv, Clint Coley and Friends. And then after that, Steph, after Clint Coley and Friends... Is wristbands only. You told them early, hey, pull the fuck up, man. I did. DC, pull the fuck up. We're having wristbands only at Capo Deli. Okay. They're going to come in. You're going to say, yo, let me get a wristband sandwich. When you ask for the wristband sandwich, you're going to be letting the back. The back? In the back. Okay. And I'm DJing. <laughs> I'm DJing. I want to see y'all there. February 26th. That's a night with me. Clint Coley and friends, wristbands only after. Don't forget, wristbands only is free to everybody. Just make sure you get tickets to my damn show, all right? That's the whole point of this. You get tickets to the show, after that, you come through, wristbands only. And let's be real. This is D.C. we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Wristbands only at in D.C. at Capo Deli. That's special. This is D.C. we're talking about. I'm not even talking to the women. I'm talking to the fellas. You know the women going to be there. You, like, <laughs> you know the women. You know what's about. You know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Figure it out, guys. I'll see you there. All right. Steph, let's talk. Let's talk. Um, so I saw a list during the holidays. Okay. And it said the top, you know, I think it was Matt Hoffa's. Matt Hoffa. Matt Hoffa. Matt, Matt, yeah, Matt, Matt Hoffa. Hoffa. Uh, his, his top... Hip hop groups of all time. Okay, uh, the list was bullshit. Hey, I mean, I'm pretty sure people be saying the same thing about my list. That's fine. With that being said, though, um, I noticed on his list though when he talked about hip hop groups, he had a lot of duos. Okay, and it made me think about let's really break down who are the best hip hop duos. We're doing tier one, tier two, tier three. There will be five duos in each tier. Okay. Five five duos in each tier. Let's start the list. Let's start the list. Now, are we starting with tier one or tier three? Let's do let's do tier one. Let's start let's with get tier the one. easy ones out the way. Okay. There's not gonna, it's not all gonna be easy, No, but, but we do know there's a few shoe wins. Yeah. The first shoe win, Andre and Big Boy. Right behind. I mean, I, yeah, Andre and Big Boy. Yeah. I mean, we don't need to have this conversation. No. Anybody that doesn't think Outkast is a tier one hip hop group, you should go to hell. They are arguably the best yeah, really. duo of all time. All right, so so I'm good with that. So tier one, here we go, people. Here we go. So we got Outkast. Mm -hmm. All right. Who else is a bona fide tier one hip hop group? Bonafide, like no ifs, no ands, no buts. Hmm. I know there's one that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and we, when he says earlier, he means early on a previous podcast. He's always yeah. on here. Just for people who never tuned in. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know that we can consider them to be a duo, and that's Run DMC. Okay, okay. So I just want to talk about that and get them out the way okay. before okay. we get people like, y'all ain't got... Okay, we so can't. let's start here. Do we look at Run DMC as a duo or a group? They're a rapping duo with a DJ. Right. Back in those days, the DJ was just as important to the group Correct. as the rappers and or as the rappers. I'm not saying that Jam Master J is I mean, look, let's okay, let's look at it this way. If you go to a concert and you see Run DMC, do you expect Jam Master J? Uh, 100%. Okay. I mean, not, not, I mean, not now. Not, I'm talking about now, in, yeah. in this heyday. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Because I, my thing is, when I go see a Tribe Called Quest, I want to see Tip, Fife, Ali. And maybe Jerobi. And maybe Jerobi. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't need to see Jerobi. What did Jerobi ever do? Jerobi got locked up before. Okay, I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah. That's why he, he wasn't on those. And you know what I respect, though? Tribe never really put his business out there. No, they didn't. Nah. Okay. They so, just kind of let it be like. Jerobi was on bullshit. He's with us, but. 
you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, but I think for Run DMC, right? Like, yeah, I get why people think they're a duo. I personally don't. You don't have songs like Walk This Way without yeah. them, which yeah. is their, arguably their biggest song. You don't yeah. have My Adidas without Jam Master J. I agree. Because he's the one that introduced them to that whole style. I agree. So, yeah, they're not in tier one because they are a group. They're not a duo. I'm good with so that. So I just want to get that out the way. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Um, okay. Duo, I think we got to put Eric B and Rakim in this conversation. I'm good with Eric B and Rakim being a top, top, a tier one hip hop group. Yeah. I don't care the era. You guys want to sit, listen, a lot of times people want to talk about eras and stuff like that. Like, oh, Eric B don't rap better than Andre 3000. Well, okay. That's not what we're talking about. No. When Eric B and Rakim came out, they changed the scope of rap. Absolutely. No ifs, no ands, no buts. They have a classic album under their belt. They do. Paid in Full is a classic album. I don't care what... Listen, I was born in 1987. Likewise. Paid in Full came out in 1987. I'm old enough to know that's a classic. Yeah. Eric B., I'm going to say this too about Rakim. Rakim was the first guy I can honestly point to to say bars mattered. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I'll be like now, now Criminal Minded came out, you know, I'm yeah. talking about Karis one, maybe I think a year earlier. Um, but I think Eric B for president, I don't know what their first, I, again, please, I'm, I wasn't there. But I do believe their first single, I believe, was Eric B for president. Mm -hmm. That was the first time people said, yo, bars matter. Yeah, I yeah. came in the door. I said it before. I never let the mic magnetize me no more. It's biting me, fighting me, inviting me. Like, nigga, that's, that's before Rakim, to me, rap was a lot of yelling. It was a lot of yelling. It was, it was yelling. A, it was a party genre. Yeah, it was yelling. You know, like, it was a lot of just posturing. Yeah. There wasn't really much, there wasn't as much substance behind it. No. It's not that there wasn't, but, like, yeah. no one was getting hyped to, like, Curtis Blow Bars. No, 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 no. I mean, Ra again, I wasn't there. No. But. Rakim, that, you know, you know, in, in talking to my cousins and people who were there, Rakim blew people's mind, bro. For sure. Rock and yo, can we talk in something else about Rakim too? What's up? Rakim sounded so tough when he rapped. Yeah, yeah. Do you know Rakim didn't cuss? Yeah, yo, did you? Yo, if you go back and listen to I Ain't No Joke or shit, he don't cuss. He don't cuss. Didn't have to. He didn't have to. Rakim was so tough. Yeah. That his bars, like I don't even need to cuss. He had a very, he had a very powerful and commanding voice. Yeah, uh, incredible lyricist. Yes, beats were incredible. Yes, like, and a lot of people don't know he did a lot of them beats. Not did. Eric B. Yeah, he did. Yeah, hey man, uh, yeah, tier, Eric B and Rakim tier definitely one. tier one duo for cool. sure. You can't tell the story of hip hop without them. Without Eric B and Rakim. No, that I mean that despite the fact that's latter part of the eighties, it completely changes the landscape going into the nineties. You to make don't sure have that it, lyrically based hip hop yes. is at the forefront of the genre. I agree. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't if without Rakim, you don't have the next the next generation of rap. No, to you me. Don't. You don't. So okay, I'm good with that. Eric B and Rakim. Okay. Eric B and Rakim. Okay. Who else you got tier one duos? Hmm, shoe-ins. Shoe-ins. I got, I got, I don't know if they're a shoe-in, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready to put them in tier one because here's why I'm gonna put them in tier one. Rapping-wise, they have, I don't know if we agreed that they had, their first album was a classic, but I think you said it was a classic, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna roll with you on that. Um, and... Bro, it's the clips. <laughs> the clips. Yeah, I, I think uh, you could argue that their first two albums are classics. An incredible mixtape series with We Got It For Cheap. A credible mixtape series. We're, again, we talk about bars. Yeah. We talk about bars. Yeah, yeah. Both niggas had bars. We talk about flow. We talk, like, Beats, now, all of that. My question is, so here's the thing. How do we define these tiers, right? Because we talk about these two. Right? Undoubtedly, you can't tell the story of hip hop without either one of them. Right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not, y'all don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure we can tell the story of hip hop without the clips. I think, I, I'm, if we're telling the, glo the, the grand story of hip hop, will, will, will we be missing anything if the clips aren't part of it? I'll make the, uh, I'll, 
I'm just, I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just asking. I feel both ways about it, but I'm going to make the argument that they helped uh, carry through. Yes. And yes. already, an already lyrically based yes. genre. Yes. While pushing forward the genre of coke rap. Coke rap. Because let's be real. Okay. Most lyricists weren't talking about that. I agree. Jay Z was probably one of the few. Yeah. Right. Anybody else would have been from the South. Virginia right. is considered the South. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I get where you're going with that, and I don't disagree. So, but I think, but if I were to make the argument, I could, I could try to make that we argument. We got three more slots. Here are my candidates for tier one: UGK, Salt and Pepper, Clips, Method Man and Red Man, and Mob Deep. Out of those five, you need to give me three. UGK is a shoe in. UGK, you got them over all of them. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. Here we go. You got Clips, Salt and Pepper, Mob Deep, Method Man, Red Man. Out of those four, you got to pick two. Yeah. Now let's let's go by let's go to each of them. Yeah, we, yeah. we talked about the clips. We don't really need to talk about UGK. You know, I don't think outside of maybe them, nobody on this list means as much to their city, probably, as UGK does to Houston. Or to the or to Texas for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, that's true. Um, and when I say mean to their city, like, look, there's you know, I mean, the Ghetto Boys are a great group, group but, but yeah, not, they're not no, a they duo though. I'm just no, talking about duo. No, yeah. Correct, yeah, and they didn't have the longevity that UGK yeah. did. Um, Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Now, <sighs> I think they're a tier two group. I, I might have to put him in tier two I also, man. Tier two. I, I mean, think Pete Rock is a tier one producer. Yes. I don't think CL Smooth is a tier one MC. He's not. And I like CL Smooth. Yeah. CL Smooth can rap. For I'm sure. Gonna, let, let, can we give CL Smooth his flowers? Yeah. He does not get a lot of credit. But if you go back and really listen to his bars, like he had a beautiful, like CL can rap, yo. He can rap. He can rap. I just think in the zeitgeist of the, of he wasn't the, a star though. No, he wasn't a star. No, no. And I think that's kind of what hurt him. Like with all of these groups that we're mentioning thus far, both, both, both are stars. They're all stars. And I mean, the, well, Eric, yeah, Eric well, B's, yeah, but Eric B's a, it's, it's, he's Rocky a star. Rakim was a star. <laughs> Right. Rakim was a star. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right? Yes. Andre 3000 and, and Big, Big Boy, Boy are, stars. are stars. Bun, Bun B, B and, and, and Pimp C, C are stars. Stars. Okay. Uh, the Clips, Pusha T was a star. Malice didn't want to be he a star. He didn't want to be a star. But I think that leads us into a good um, a good convo about Salt and Pepper and why, why you picked them. So here's my thing. I don't know. I can't. Look. I get Salt and Pepper is not a tier one group lyrically, no, at all. But can we be honest? Salt and Pepper were were hip hop's first women stars, stars collectively. Yes, Co- I mean, do we have a woman star before them? You had Roxanne Shante. She wasn't. She not like Salt. No, yeah. no, oh, no. no. Yeah. If you were a hip hop head, yeah, in no, New they York liked the Roxanne Shante, but but she wasn't a she wasn't a, a st- superstar. Right? She had no. Give me a hit of Roxanne Shante's in the eighty besides Roxanne's Revenge. There is, no and that way. wasn't even really a. I mean, it was on the radio everywhere. But we're talking Salt and Pepper is going to th- arenas. Yeah, around the world, they could sell out. Yeah, Salt and Pepper at, at one time to me could sell out by themselves. Yo, for sure. I just is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough to give them over? I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to make an executive decision on this list. Mm-mm. Where's this going? I know I'm, what you're about to do. No, I'm going to put Method Man and Red Man as tier one. Okay. I'm going to put Method Man and Red Man as tier one. Now, why both of them as tier one? Not individually, but why both of them? As a, as a duo? Correct. All right. So. Do they have, how many albums do they have? <laughs> you knew I was going to ask that. <laughs> You right, man. Out of all the dope Damn, records that they got together, they don't have an album. They don't have an album. Wow. I know. I lo- look. I love Red so Man. So you're telling me Method Man and Red Man are not a tier one hip hop duo? They're not a duo. They never had an album. 
If that's the criteria that we're going off of. They're not a duo. They they, never they were collaborative solo artists. Because guess what? When you put together, like, can you're you not, name, bro, can you you not, name can you, you name five Red and Mess like songs? You're not wrong. Bro. I, I mean, they exist. Outside the, the Rock Waller and, and yeah, and like you know, you know uh, how high and yeah. stuff like that. And there's a bunch of other joints, but like, I think them as a duo for the culture is 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 I, is, I don't is, disagree. But you're right. They don't have an album. They they they, they can't. Because again, you're right. As I like to point out, the reason that people say Andre three thousand can't be one of the best rappers of all time. Yes. Or the best is because he doesn't have he a solo have a, album. Yes, they don't right. have right? Like what's the difference between them and like I don't know, like just anybody who just yeah. two 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 dudes. Like Kendrick and Schoolboy Q. Yeah. Or like yeah, 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 yeah right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You Well, Method Man or Red Man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now to me, it's down to Mob Deep. Salt and Pepper and the Clips. I love Mob Deep. I love Mob Deep too. And people and people going to ask me about EPMD as a tier one group or a tier one duo. EPMD has a classic album with Strictly Business. Yeah. Does Mob Deep have a classic album? I think we said on the last episode that um, it was it was it the Infamous or no was it. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I guess it would have been the infamous. It was the infamous. Yeah. Do they have? I don't. They don't have a bona fide. They don't classic. have a. It's not bona fide classic. Um, like people today aren't. I don't know. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get, bump right, a mob. I, I will give you salt and pepper. Put, let's get that out the way. You so we're, we're yeah, salt yeah. and pepper's tier one. Yeah, let's I'm do good it. with that. Yeah. Because I'll be honest, I don't actually. There's only one other female hip-hop group that we can mention. I am going to mention them. And they deserve to be mentioned. They're going to be on... I think they're going to be a tier two, tier three duo. Yeah. Who agreed. do you... Who, who, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just make sure we're thinking of the same people. <laughs> I think people. we are. <laughs> okay. Are they Are they new? Yeah. Okay, then we're talking about the same people. Yeah, we are. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. They're tier three. All right. Between Clips and Mob Deep, who means more? <laughs> <laughs> and not as solo, right? Who means more to who means more to the genre? Clips or Mob Deep? Who's better? Let's just let's just let's you know what? Let's, I mean, the, let's the, just let's just have an honest conversation. The Clips is a better and people group. are going to get mad. People are going to get mad when we when we ask this question on Instagram. But it is what it is. Who is better? The Clips. Clips or Mob Deep? It's the Clips. Okay, I'm, I'm not. And I, I don't. I I also think a lot of that has to do with. The fact that they had the Neptunes producing them. And Havoc ain't no slouch either, but... And, and not even just Havoc. Like, you look at a yeah. lot of the producers that they worked with. Havoc, The Alchemist, yeah. Jake One. Uh, the Alchemist, like, Oof. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. they, it's not... But I don't just mean e beats. I mean, e like, the production should, of, of these the, songs. I, I agree with that. Right? And then, you know what? Let's just... Nate, look. Pusha T's a better rapper then, than Prodigy. And Both of them, yeah. yeah. And yeah, okay. Malice and Pusha have better songs. Okay. Right? And I'm a big, big, big Mob Deep fan, but I gotta take the clips. I'm a huge Mob Deep fan also. But they then we for them, they gotta be at the top of tier two or they gotta be They're a, right or an honorable in, mention for tier one. I'm good with this is our tier one. I'm fine with that. Okay. So our tier one tier one hip hop duos. We got Outcast, Eric B and Rakim. UGK, Salt and Pepper, Clips. I like it. I'm okay with it. You're I'm not, good with that. I know people are not going to feel this because of, of they they they're going to they're going to make a, a case for Mob Deep and EPMD. Well, then that's what you got the comment section for. Isn't it? <laughs> we know y'all talk big shit in the comments. This is for you. <laughs> that's facts, though. I'm good with that. Cool. Um, I think we're gonna get a lot. I'm not mad. Like, the salt and pepper take, you got to remember what they mean to the genre. Correct. You got to remember what they mean to women. I know they're not, lyrically, they're the weakest on the list. By far. But, but and their music probably is the most dated. Yeah. But, but, you, yo, you can still put, you can still throw push it on, though. Push it, yeah. At a, at a 30 plus. At a 40 plus. My mom uh, likes salt and pepper. First of all, let, let, like, and and let's 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 also let's let's get these women their flowers, bro. When they were on tour, they were the headliners. 
Yeah, and when they were... They when were they, the headliners. And, and when they were on tour with other groups, they were the only women on the tour hold, yeah. holding it down. Hold it down. And and had just... And look, man, you ain't gonna tell me Salt and Pepper didn't have men doing... They did. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right, shit, I'm doing it. <laughs> Do they have, like... I mean, that's the thing. I just, I just stuck my tongue Do out. Do they that's have a pulse. classic record? Do they have a classic album? No. No, they don't. I mean... I like this album, for Assault sure. with a Deadly Pepper. For sure. It's a beautiful, that's a beautiful name for an album. But Yeah, they don't have a classic album. No. You know, they weren't the best lyrically. No. Um, but they had swag, they had style. They, yeah, I they think flu- they blow. They're, you can't tell the story of hip hop without Salt and Pepper. As a matter of fact, you can't tell the story of hip hop without any of these five, except maybe. See, and that's what it comes down to for me. Can you tell the story? And it's like, I. I agree, and the same thing. But I can make the same case for Mob Deep, for sure. I think, I and think, I like Mob Deep. But I think, but I think, if you're gonna choose one song from every group, yeah, that you could make the argument that every group has at least, or every duo has one song that you could make a case for in the zeitgeist of hip hop. Yeah. Outcast, as much as I don't like it, hey, uh, hey, yeah. right, yeah. UGK, International Players yeah. Anthem, Eric uh, B. Rock him. Peyton, I mean, Peyton Full is the one. Yeah, yeah. push. Uh, and, cl- and Clips is grinding. grinding. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Salt and Pepper is going to be pushing. Yeah. So, I mean, you could make the case that arguably each one of these groups had the biggest record at w- at any one given time in the culture. That's a fact. Mob Deep. All of these duos Mob Deep had, had a so, had at least had the. Yeah. The, could say that they had the best song. Right. Mob Deep had uh, what's it called? Um, uh, I mean, look, they had Shook Ones. Shook and, One, yeah. yeah, Shook Ones Part Two, yeah. right? Quiet Storm. Yeah, you yeah, know, Quiet Storm was. Oof. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and here's the thing: I like. I mean, the remake. Well, Kim, Kim is the one that really. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, she did. Kim, you know, we, they got yo. I love Bridge Brooklyn love, and D Double E P. Love Mob Deep, but I think out of this list, I'm good with. Them. I'm okay with putting Salt and Pepper above them. You guys are gonna hate us for this again. <laughs> that's what the comment section's for. This is for you. This is for you. <laughs> okay, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So, do you want to rank these one to five in this? Absolutely team? not. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. Actually, we could do that. All right. So Outcast is one. That's one. I got Eric B and Rakim two. I got them. I got. I got, I got them UGK over, too. I got them over UGK. I can't do that. What? I think if okay, let's just ask this: Who means more to the culture? UGK. I disagree. In 2013, 20, 2013, 2023. I don't. I, I get why you say this. I'm not. Listen, we have to. What Rock Kim, what Eric B and Rock Kim did to me supersedes. Anything that UGK ever did, in my opinion. And I'm not saying, listen, UGK had a longer run. UGK has better overall music. But man, you don't get today's rap, or not today's rap, but you don't get the evolution of rap without, it starts, it starts here. I agree. It starts there. Can you say the same thing for them? Today, yes. Them niggas don't rap like them. No, no. No. But I'm, but, but. But contextually, yes. The beat, beat wise, yes. Contextually, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I'll give you. But, that. but for the same reasons, for sure, I, I understand why you would make the same case for Rock Him. Who's right? three, who's four? Who's three? Okay, so we we're good with uh, them Salt two. Salt is number five. Come on. Okay, so Clips is four. He says <laughs> All right. I mean, I have my per, out of my personal favorites, I would go Outcast one, UGK two, Clips three. Um, Eric B and Rakim for Salt and Pepper Five, but I I'm not mad at having Eric B and Rakim as I got them too. That's fine. I got them too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But again, this is a tiered list. We this is tiered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we just we just add salt to the wound. That's all. No we're pun do, intended. We put that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we add salt to the wound. All right, yeah. All right. Cool. I'm good with that. That's our tier one. That's our all tier right. one. Let's move into tier two. Before we get into tier two. It's the middle of the podcast. You know what I got to do. Um, Washington, D.C., February 26th. Get your tickets. Clint Coley and friends. I'm going to say that one more time. Washington, D.C., February 26th. Clint Coley and friends. Get your tickets. After Clint Coley and friends that night, we're going to go to Capo Deli. 
and you're going to you're going to go into Capo Deli and you're going to ask for a wristband sandwich. And when you ask for the wristband sandwich, you're going to be let in the wristbands only. And I'm DJing. Bottom line is DC. Fellas, you know what time it is in DC. I don't think I've ever seen an ugly woman in DC. I haven't. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't be seeing ugly women in DC. They don't exist. No, and they got and they got good jobs and got it together. They got it together. So, should we call this wristbands only? Come correct. <laughs> come correct. You need to come correct. You better come correct, man. All right, we need to come correct for this next one. So let's do, we're doing tier two. Just to recap, tier one. Tier one hip-hop duos. We got Outkast, Eric B and Rakim, Clips, UGK, Salt and Pepper. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now All this right. is where it gets fun. Tier two. This is where things get complicated. All right. Let's go to tier two, Steph. So we already know at the top of tier two is Mob Deep. Yeah. Okay. Who else is at the top of tier two? For me, because we named him, we got, I think it should be Mob Deep, Pete Rock, CL Smooth, and... Um, Don't say Red and Meth. And EPMD. And EPMD. Now, here are some groups. Now, we're going to name all the groups, and we're going to split them up between, or all the duos, and split them up between tier two and tier three. Here we go. We got Mob Deep. We got Black Star. We got DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, EPMD, 8 Ball and MJG, Gangstar, Black Sheep, Capone and Noriega, Camp Low, Timberland and Magoo, Big Timers, City Girls, Pete Rock CL Smooth, Naughty by Nature, Criss Cross, Rob Bass Easy Rock, Yin Yang Twins, and also uh, we got uh, the Young Guns, Oskino and Sparks, Smith and Wesson, <laughs> Kid and Play. Yeah, and I got some others. Who you got? Smiles uh, and South Star. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Smiles and um, South Star. <laughs> so I got I got a couple more like more modern groups. My bad. I got, Go ahead. I got uh, Run the Jewels. Okay. You know, um, I got the Cool Kids. I got I like the Cool Kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dead Prez. I never liked them, but I get it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Dog Pound. I never no. I get but, it. But, but go ahead, yeah. Um Danger Doom. Yeah. Um also Mad Villain. Mm-hmm. Um This is gonna be controversial. Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Now, I don't like Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. I don't think they've done enough. They won a Grammy. That's they it. They won a they won a Grammy for best album. It was controversial. They are the reason we question the Grammys. As of late, yes. Yes. Macklemore and Ryan Lewis winning a Grammy is the reason we stopped. Like, we was like, nigga, what? I mean, did you listen to the album? It wasn't. Objectively? Yeah, I, it wasn't. It's a good album. It, I didn't like it better than. It wasn't better than Kendrick. I don't think so. <laughs> it wasn't but, better than Kendrick. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, now, here's a couple. Here's two more that. You're gonna, they're gonna. Oh, actually, Ray Shrimmer, we'll say. I like Ray Shrimmer. And here's two more that you can either. Can, I don't know if you're gonna consider them groups or not. Watch the throne. I'm not considering them a group or a duo. Yeah. I, I like. I get it, but no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not considering them a duo. The Neptunes. <sighs> now, this is where it gets interesting, right? Because the Neptunes technically have albums. Yeah. Well, they have an album. Neptune presents the clones. Yeah, it was a fire ass album. It was. <laughs> Front and being the lead single on there. <sighs> Pharrell sings. He raps. He writes his own lyrics. They both produce. Where are you at with that? If they, if the, if we consider the Neptunes a hip hop duo, we have to go back to tier one and take somebody to fuck off. I'm I'm not going to consider them a hip hop duo. Okay. I think we could, but I'm not going to. I said it cuz I thought it would be interesting to have as a conversation. I think we should ask the people, do y'all consider the Neptunes a hip hop duo? And when I say a hip hop duo, do you consider them along the same lines with Outkast, 
you know, Mob Deep, UGK, like they are all those are hip hop duos. Do you consider? Because technically, they, the Neptunes. Yeah, I mean they can make it. They can. They, they, they put out an album. They've been featured on records. Yes, they've produced. I mean, basically, yeah. They are the a, entire, they are a, the entire decade, and, and even prior decades, decades. Yeah. 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 Well, that's kind of like the big timers, right? The big timers are should be in, should be considered for tier two to me. Yeah, for sure, I would agree. I'm good with the big timers being in tier two. Same, same. So let's write down what we got. So I got far. that work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Tier two duos. So we know Mob Deep. Mm -hmm. Who else? For sure. Who Who else for sure? You said 8-Ball and MJG? I don't know if they're for sure, but I did say them, but I don't, I don't know if they're for sure. Okay. Um, You like the City Girls as tier two? I like them as tier three. Okay. I think they have the potential to be a tier one group. They have the potential, absolutely. Yeah, they need to do a little bit more. But yes. But I think yeah. they could be a tier one group. I agree with that. Um, I'm good with I'm good with EPMD on this list, tier two. Okay. I'm good with EPMD. All right. Who else you got? We got Pete Rock, CL Smooth, Gangstar, 8-Ball, MJG. Put the big timers on here. I think they're they're an automatic. Big timers? Yeah. Okay. They kept me thoroughly entertained for many years and still to, the, to this day. Listen, big timers got hits. And that's kind of what I want to talk about with these tier two duos that we're talking about here. How many of these groups have hits? EPMD is the only one to me that does. Oh, they got a for their time. They had a hit. You know, you guys to chill was a that yeah. was a big record. And what's it called? Um, that was a big record at the what's time. What's the joint sampling? Uh, Roger. Um. Um. um oh, oh uh, the joint sampling. Uh, 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 um. 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 More about yeah. That's you guys to chill. No, nah, no, nah, it's another one. Um. I, mean, I know they got the crossover. The crossover. Yeah. Yeah. They got the crossover. Oh, that didn't sample Roger, did it? No. Whatever. Okay. I don't even know who was singing that, but whatever. The, anyway, yeah, the crossover. Um, whatever you want. Yeah, it, yeah. Whatever you need. It, eh, eh, no, that's not sample Roger. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. How many of these groups got hits? P Rock and CL Smooth only have one hit. But it's a, got, it's a it's legendary a, it's song. A, it's a legend. You can make the argument that they. Uh, I don't want. It. Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. That they're say one hit wonders. You can make. I'm not putting that on this podcast, dog. You cutting that? Pete Rock follows me, man. Oh, I look huge. No, fan. no, no. I'm not cutting it out the pocket. I'm just not putting this. this, this I'm this just will, saying this will not be a. But you are we? But but are we having that? How much do hits matter in this conversation? So they we, matter, we said, they we mattered said, in tier I'm one. I'm about to say they mattered in tier do one. Do they matter in tier two? They're gonna have to. Does Gangstar have a hit? I don't think they do. Does M Eight Ball or MJG have a hit? Not till later. The you don't want drama joint. Camp Low has a hit, but Camp Low. Yeah, but they're not. City Girls got a lot of so, hits. Yo, I can make a case that Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince should be tier two. A case. I'm not saying they are, but we're talking duos. They got hits. They got Grammys. They okay. They check the boxes, bro. Okay. What is our criteria for these tiers? We we really got to narrow this down. I think honestly. We have to look at it the same way that we look at our classic th situation and stuff like that. Moving the genre forward, do you do you have classic? Uh, do you have a classic album? Do can we tell the story of hip hop without you? We can't tell the story of hip hop without Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. We cannot. Yeah, I, I think they're I think they're an automatic tier two. You can write that down. Okay. That means we got room for one more. Guess it's got to be the Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> um, hmm. Black Sheep, I'm going to say no. No, the Black Sheep. Um, Earth Gang is too new. Play a Circle, only one hit. 
Timberland uh, and Magoo. Fuck no. You know what, man? Magoo gets a lot of bad rap. Because if you're going to say is that... Magoo, no, no, no. Let me ask you a question. Is Magoo bad? Yes. yes. <laughs> I don't think he's that bad. I'm not saying I li- I don't think he's... he's not- the bird, bird, bird. <laughs> the bird is the word. I'm Chip you Dale. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dog. I'm Chip you Dale. <laughs> Yo, let's be real though. We all got a tib- we all got a Magoo line that we like, yo, bro. <laughs> we all got a few. Here's the thing though. Timberland, but Timberland never spit nothing whack. <laughs> that was the thing. And he wasn't even the rapper. That's my issue. Man, Magoo has some ass, some ass bars. I get man. it. Y'all were friends, right? I'm not. What mad is at Magoo that. doing now? Don't know. Yo, can I ask you a question? All right, let's say you go to a concert and Timberland is performing his hits. Do you expect, do you care if you see Magoo or not? No. <laughs> no, I don't care to hear, like, if, if they don't, if I don't hear Indian flute, I'm not going to be <laughs> upset, right? I'm Like, I'm not. Timberland, but they got hits. Timberland has hits. No, Timberland and Magoo. They are a duo. I can tell the conversation, <laughs> I can have the entire story of hip hop without Timberland and Magoo. Not without Timberland. <laughs> But I can have it without Magoo. <laughs> I like Magoo, man. That's fine. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna let you. I, I'm look, bullshit. It's your podcast, I'm, but I am not gonna let you put them in tier two. I will. <laughs> I will leave. <laughs> I'm bullshit. I don't fuck with Magoo, dog. Because if, um, that, if, if that's the case, my man if, said I'm Chip. You if Dale. That's, if that's the case, and we talking hits. No, Tim and Magoo. They're not going on. No, they're no, not tier two. They're not. They're not tier two. They're not tier two. I, I mean, because if that's the case, then I got to put Dog Pound up there if you're going to do Timbaland and Magoo. No. And I, and I know you don't like Dog Pound, no, but, no, but, but, right. but, but they are equivalent in this conversation. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. So for me, it's either going to be one of four groups All or right. duos. So this is where we're going to nail it down to. It's either going to be Pete Rock and CL Smooth, Naughty by Nature, Black Star, or Gang Star. I hate that I'm saying this. It might have to be naughty by nature. I, look, dog, let's be real about naughty by nature, right? They're very commercialized. But the motherfuckers can rap. They Tretch can spit, dog. Yeah. Not only can Tretch spit, but yo, they had massive hits. Yeah, they did. They had massive. There, there was a time where I'm going to be honest with you. There's you could turn the page in '90s hip hop around 1993, where Naughty by Nature Everywhere. was the face of hip hop. Yeah. So I'll just say this: I'm not saying no. Personal favorite, favorite. out of the ones you just named is Black Star, for me. But if we're gonna have the conversation, damn! I just knocked over my water. I'm pissed. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> it's all good. It ain't. It ain't gonna start. Nah, I'm gonna just keep acting like nothing happened. You got plugs down here, bro. No, we're we're good. Right okay. over here, we're good. Yeah, all right, we're good. Uh, we're, good. <laughs> we're good. Personal favorite, I'm going Black Star, but think you might have to go Naughty by Nature. Yes, personal favorite is definitely Black Star, but I'm not talking about personal favorites. I'm talking about who means. And look, man, let's be real, bro. Does Naughty by Nature mean that much to hip hop? They don't, but at but they propelled it forward. They did. Let me ask you a question, bro. Let's be real. I think Black Star is overrated. I think Black Star, most definitely Talib Kweli as a group, ain't really all that. Like, look, I, what, what they, other than the do do do, you book, book, Brooklyn, like, nigga, I don't. I mean, Respiration is my favorite song. Of yeah, those, but what, but what? I get it. Come on, man. Like, Again, that's the per, thing. Personal, we, y'all want to know, everybody personal wanna, favorite. people want to name, oh, what about ooh, Black Star, Black Star. They ain't do shit. Personal favorite. I'm cool without that album. They just put out another one. And I didn't listen to it. <laughs> and I didn't listen to it. Okay. Fell under my radar. So out of Gangstar, Pete Rock and CL Smooth and Naughty by Nature. And that's that's to say that every other group that we mentioned is not better than them. You don't want to put Run the Jewels up here? No. Okay. No. You don't want to put... Memphis gonna be mad about this eight ball MJG shit. Bro. Yeah, understandable. 
It is what it is, Memphis. You be all right. And I, I didn't. I left. Y'all them, used to get here, looked. Here's over. the thing. I left them off the list, but they started as a group, but Three Six Mafia ended as a duo. I, they're grouped to me. Okay. We had them in the group conversation before. They ended as a, and arguably they were at their peak as a duo. Yeah, but they they won. They won. What's it called? They won. As, as a, uh, what's it called? As a we'll duo, put them as an honorable Oscar. mention, but Three Six Mafia is a group. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at that. You know, you you, I, snu- bro, you snub in Memphis. I just wanted to put that out I'm there. Not mad I love about you. About putting the young guns somewhere in there. No, I'm not doing that. I know that. I know what that means to you. Bro, I'm not even. But his thing, even being from Philly, like you I'm can not, have the. Comp- they're not a tier two. They're not. I don't think I, they're a tier three. Can they rap? Yeah. But you're right. I, but, you're right. No, but, you're right. If I'm going, if we being objective, you're right. Being objective, you're right. Because all most people can name is can't stop, stop won't stop. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, uh, you better don't, love. A lot of people and don't, maybe their verse on as one. <laughs> a lot of people. That, yeah. Well, a lot of people don't even know their album's names. A lot of. You know? I I don't. Yeah. All right, man. I'm cool with rounding out tier two with. And you don't want to do the city girls, huh? They're tier three. Why are they tier three? Because I don't think they have accomplished more than Naughty by Nature. In terms of just overall success. Well, no, wrong about that, I my friend. Wrong. You know, you know, you're right. And no, you can no, make the right. argument right, that bro. one you're is right. ver- because of the streaming era; the yeah. other was because of traditional TV, but radio. You're right. you're right. But the City Girls, honestly, but hip, but no, naughty. But white people knew who the fuck. I'm mean, not to say that they, not to say they don't know who City Girls is. But at a time when hip hop was not the dominant genre, Correct. we're talking 91, yeah. 92. And don't forget, they're standing out amongst. Yeah. <sighs> so between City Girls and Naughty by Nature, because it sounds like that's what that's between. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Naughty. Okay. You. I want to hear what y'all got to think about this, America. I don't think... <sighs> I, I Look, I think the hip-hop heads are going to feel some type of way about this anyway. They're going to feel some type of way because we, we're, 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 they, they're not going to like the fact that Gangstar and Black Sheep and all these niggas ain't... Be, like, we're, they're not... I get it. But as much as I love Gangstar, I think they're probably a tier three. Because the problem with these, here's the problem with these lists, right? Yeah. Is there's generational bias. I think we. It has have, to be. It has to There is, yeah. Because we, we happen to be of the age where we were alive During, in the 90s. Where we, yeah. Where we saw the. We remember rise. how big exactly. Naughty by Nature was. Yeah. We also were alive in the early 2000s and we're alive now to see how, just how big the city not girl. only the genre is, but how it can create superstars like the City Girls. Yeah. You know? Um, I mean, they arguably have a TV show on HBO based off of themselves. Not arguably. Rap they, shit, they that's about them. It's about them. So. Hey, man. I would not be mad if you put City Girls in, duo, in, in Tier 2. But I would understand why you don't want to. I, think I they, might go both, man, and just call it a... We call can't it a draw. I can't do that. We got to make a... Yeah. You got a coin on you? You want to flip a coin? Nah, man. We got to make an executive decision. I know. I, I, I'm just going to say it. I'm, I'm, you're, at, you're with the City Girls. I'm going to say the City Girls. It's going to be controversial, but fuck it. This is on you. It's on me. <laughs> City Girls. JT and Young Miami. That's crazy, dog. Look at what they've done in such a That's short amount crazy. of time. We got them tier two. And we got Black Star, <laughs> Gang Star. <laughs> Nigga, they gonna hate this list. Good. Good. Damn. But you can't be mad at it. That's why I like these conversations with you. This is why we can have these, because we have to be objective I'm, I'm about being this. Obje- like, that's I know. The th- because we can't be generational. We can't be too generationally biased. Again, I, See, I'll be and, honest and, with you. And I, don't listen, I don't listen to the City Girls. I don't listen to the City Girls either. Like, they don't get major... But there's a so there's a group, and when I say group, a large mass of people who love these chicks. 
And they, that has to count for something. And I think that's the problem, right? We a lot of times want to dis- diminish other people's success or other people's stuff because we don't like them. At the end of the day, I cannot like you, but know that you've made a su- substantial contribution to the genre. Real quick. Because generationally speaking, right, we know at one point Naughty by Nature could have been considered one of the biggest hip-hop duos or groups in, in the right. genre. period. Are the City Girls doing what Naughty by Nature was able to do. We're comparing, mind you, we're comparing apples and oranges. We're comparing the streaming era versus selling physical albums, right? And doing world tours and doing, selling out arenas. Have they done that yet? City Girls have not. Okay. The Naughty by Nature has. Okay. So, if you want to, if you want to take them off. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. right. Yeah, I'm good with that. Now, again, I, I, I will say this, and I'm, I'll look dead in the camera. I think the City Girls, if they stay on track to, of doing what they're doing, can be absolutely 100% a tier one hip-hop group. We can probably take Salt and Pepper off at some point and replace them with the City Girls if they continue. They continue I I'll say another two to five years I agree. Of, of this level of success. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. You, no, no ifs, ands, buts here. Cool. But I agree with that. Okay. So, so this is our tier three. Are we our tier two? Our tier two hip hop duos is Mob Deep, the Big Timers, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, EPMD, Naughty by Nature. You're good with this, cause I'm good with that. I, I'm always gonna feel some type of way about EPMD, but I, but I, I gotta. I, they're not. They're, I'm under, not gonna lie. These two are the two. I'm like. I, I know. But to me, Gangstar hasn't done more than either one of them. No. Black Star hasn't done more than either one of them. Eight Ball and MJG hasn't done more than any either one of them. Camp Low hasn't done more than either one of them. Out of all these groups, to be honest with you, I think the closest you can get out of the ones that you named. Probably or Gangstar. Gangstar at one point. Yeah. I mean, again, they're not a mainstream hip hop group. No, they're not. But at one point, they were headlining festivals. They yeah. were headline. You know, they, yeah. they had their their own shit. Yeah. Um. But I. Uh, I know, dog. This is <laughs> this is this is why we're here. I know. This is why we're here. All right. Okay. I'm good with that. Let's move on. Let's move on to tier three. All right. All right. All right. Let's get to tier three. You don't, you, don't, you don't sound like you feel good about... Uh... I, it's not that I don't feel good. It's not that I don't feel good about tier two. It's that it's just... It's tough. It's tough, man. But, I mean, I'm... I'm all right. All right. I'm, 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 it's fine. All right. We're going we gonna to finish this off. All right. So, let's do tier three. Now, can you do me a favor while I'm writing the board? Who do you have for sure in tier three? All that hoopla that we gave them, we I think we got to put the City Girls in Tier 3. All right. Got Pete Rock. Smooth. Who else is Tier 3? I'm going to go 8-Ball MJG. Mm-hmm. Okay. If you got to choose between Blackstar and Gangstar, who you taking? Gangstar. If I got to choose between Blackstar and Gangstar, I'm taking Gangstar in a heartbeat. Okay. I like Primo, like Guru. Yeah. Cool. All right. So we got Gangstar. And now we have one left, one last slot. One last slot. So it's either between Black Star, I can't put the Yang Yang Twins over Black Black Star. I can't, I can't put. I don't like Capone and Noriega. Buddy. I don't either. No. What is it about Capone and Noriega that you don't like? Um, is it Capone or Noriega or just both of them? <laughs> yeah, both of them. Um, I don't like Capone's voice. Yeah, okay. Like. I just I don't like his voice. Yeah, um, it's just annoying to me. I think they're overrated, and I think and actually I, in my opinion, and actually, 
Nori's annoying. <laughs> Noriega is annoying. Can he rap? Sure. I've never liked his flow. I've never heard Noriega spit bars. You t- point to me where you you heard where you say you know what Noriega went in. Yeah, again, I remember when the War Report came out and people loved the War it. Report was dope. I didn't like. It. I mean, it, the, I, war, no, the, the War Report was dope, but it's like, I mean, what banned from TV was his was his I, joint. I like Lil Wayne version better. Same. Like, if we be if we keep it at a buck, man, they're, like they're, they're both just, <laughs> they're both just annoying to me, and I and I don't. There's no time that I ever want to hear either of them rap together okay. or individually camp low i mean no, no. not enough I, and like uptown saturday night that's what it's called right yeah yeah great album yeah but not enough um method man and Raymond, we said they're not a they're group. not a group. duo pete rock and cls i'm not pete rock uh rob bass and easy rock no 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 um kid and play yeah Kid and play. I don't want to put them on here. Kid and play, dog. I don't want to put them on here. I think there's bigger. I, I they, get why. I mean, look, bro. I mean, pass me that. I mean, bro. Look, man. This. It's not their album. Right? But this is a staple in hip hop history. This. As a film. But, 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 but. These two, as actors, you okay? <laughs> he said, as actors, they didn't have the they didn't have any of the best songs on this album. No, they did not. They didn't. No, they did not. No, they did not. Well, I'm going to say it's probably Black Star by default. Yeah, I mean, again, the only groups that I got are Run the Jewels, Cool Kids, Gnarls Barkley, Young Guns, Dead Prez. Play a circle. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, Children of Zeus. Children of Zeus. Are they a hip hop duo? Nah. What do you? Yeah. What it? Are, is Children of Zeus a hip hop? Yeah. I'm gonna plug my friends. You, you fucking right. You should. You fucking right. All right. I, we 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 having this conversation about best hip hop duos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about b- my boy Connie and and Tyler. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The only other groups that I would say again, Dog Pound. I know you don't really like them. Um. Field Mob didn't do enough. <laughs> crisscross, no to me. No to me to crisscross too. They Mad Villain has a cult following, but no, but not enough. Again, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, Grammy winners, owned radio for arguably I, I two can't, years. I can't, and I good, can't respectfully put them over Black Talib Kweli and Most Dev. I and can't. then and then Ray Shrimmer. Yeah, I can't do it. Okay. All right. So it's it's, it's so our, it's our we five. have we have narrowed down the greatest hip hop duos in tears. Now, before you guys get up in arm about this list, Run DMC, Method Man and Red Man, we do not cons- and Little Brother, we do not consider duos. Nor Tribe Call. Quest. Nor Tribe Call. We consider Correct. them groups. Correct. All right. So before again, this is the list. Of the greatest hip hop duos. Before you get mad and you ask where these people are, we don't consider them groups. Meth- I mean duos. Method Man and Red Man because they've never had an album together. Correct. Uh, Run DMC because of Jam Master J. Tribe Called Quest because of Ali and Jerobi. And then also Little Brother because of Knife Wonder. That's how they started. Now again, why do you say that Watch the Throne and Kids See Ghosts aren't groups? Because to me... All right, they have an album together, right? But to me, I think that was just a collaborative effort. I think it's 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 kind of like oh, it's it's almost like the same way we don't see Jay Z and R. Kelly as a as a duo. As best of both worlds, even though that yeah, they did two albums together. They, you know what I'm saying? But they're not a duo, right? You know. So here we go. The greatest hip hop duos. We're putting them in tiers. Tier three, City Girls. Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Gangsta. Wait a minute. Before we, before we, wait a minute. Before we go back, let's go back. We're naming the greatest hip hop duos. All right. Here is our criteria. We're looking for moving the genre forward. Classic album or albums. Can we tell the story of hip hop without you? 
these are the tiers. Tier one means we can't. Tier two means, yeah. Tier three means we can, but we love you. Here we go. Tier three, City Girls, Pete Rock, CL Smooth, Black Star, Gangstar, 8-Ball, MJG. Tier two, Mob Deep, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, EPMD, Big Timers, and Naughty by Nature. <sighs> Tier one, let's <laughs> put his head down. Outcast, UGK, Eric B and Rakim, Clips, Salt and Pepper. Now, <laughs> why are you making this face? Before y'all get mad, also, we don't consider Run DMC, Method Man and Red Man, Little Brother, and Tribe Called Quest. Those aren't duos. Those are groups. I mean, those aren't duos. Well, they're not duos for multiple reasons. Method Man and Red Man, they've never had an album together. Um, Run DMC, Jam Master J. Uh, Tribe Called Quest, outside of Fife and Tip, there's Ali and Jerobi. And last but not least, Little Brother started as a hip-hop group, and now they're a duo. To me, that's that's our list. I'm good with that. I'm good with it. Argue amongst yourselves. Or us in the comments. I'm not arguing with y'all. I'm not arguing with them. Yeah, I probably won't either. I'm not arguing anymore, dog. It was just the face you were making at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is difficult, you know? Um, and yeah. as we were kind of saying on, you know... It's hard to do these lists and also we're, you know, we're both East Coasters. Yeah, we we yeah. try not to bake too much regional bias into this. Yeah. Uh, we try not to, you know, bake too much generational bias into this. Yeah. Which is, again, why I thought it was important to have City Girls on here. Yeah. Same as even Salt and Pepper. Like I agree. Right? So, I agree. The only, the only group you can make a case for for me for Tier 1 is Mob Deep. If you're in my comments telling me Mob Deep is a Tier 1 group, I don't disagree with yeah, that. For sure. I don't disagree with that. All right, Steph. Another one in the books. Another one. All right. Uh, look, I'm going to leave y'all with this. Make sure y'all check out, you know, the podcast. Make sure y'all share the podcast. Yo, man, yeah, do me. Yeah, man. Share this shit, man. All right? Share it. All right? We, we not, we, you know, I, I'm, I'm tired of every fucking five minutes I go on Instagram. It's always some relationship. Can I ask you a question, Steph? What's up? Do white people have... Is there a white Kevin Samuels? I'm sure. But where? Well, he was our president. <laughs> but he don't have a podcast. He has, his you own social, with, he has his own social media company. It's about... It's levels. It's levels. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, no, they got Joe Rogan. They got... But, like, do we have, like... we don't? I've never seen, like... The way black... Oh, the, yeah. Actually, the, he just got arrested in Romania, Andrew Tate. Yeah, he is the black... He's the white Kevin Samuels. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because, like, the way that black people... The way we consume relationship it's not context... Just us. And, yeah, I, I was like, they got to do, do... Do white people... is Like, do white people put this much pressure and, and, and this much yeah, emphasis they, on... I'm just yeah, making sure... Yeah, they do. And they... I mean, I'm not white, but they... Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he has to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, they do. And they, they turn them into movies and they call them rom-coms. Well... Thank you guys. <laughs> You're right, though. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for laughing. February 26th. Don't forget, DC, wristbands only. The link is in the description of this episode. See y'all later. This podcast is over.